the data that's collected from various sources is deposited into the learning records warehouse. The learning records warehouse is a ring-fenced data warehouse for each institution where the institution owns and controls that data. They control who can have access to that data and they also have an open API that they can access any of that data themselves to use for their own research and uh, implementation purposes. Although the data warehouse is cloud hosted, all the information in there and the data is controlled and owned by the institution. If you go into a warehouse, I think the thing that strikes you is the structure. So it's, it's a very structured way of, of storing things, uh, and, and in this case data. It's got two different types of data in there. So it's got uh, data about the student, so you know, whether they're male or female, their age, what course they're on, their grades, you know, there's that kind of contextual data. And then there's the activity data, which is um, the things that they do, you know, so they went to a lecture and they um, maybe borrowed a book from the library or they logged on to the VLE. So what the Learning Records Warehouse does is it, it's a way of storing this information in a very standardised way. The thing with the warehouse is that it's huge, and, but it's structured. So it's not that you've just dumped a load of information like, like I do in my garage actually, but you know, it, it's ordered and that order is documented. So it means that, if you imagine, you can program a robot, can't you, to go and pick the right things out of a warehouse. So it's a little bit like that, in that you can, uh, the learning analytics processor, our app and our dashboards, they know exactly where to look in this huge um, expanse of data. The benefits for institutions of using the learning record warehouse is around the sustainability and usability of the data that they've collected. So all the data in the Learning Records Warehouse is collected in a standardised way using a unified data definition for student information and a standard called Experience API for learning activity data. So in the future if the institution wants to add in more activity data or changes one of the systems that they're using, um, either for the data collection, so maybe their learning environment or their student record system, or they introduce a new attendance tracking system, then the data can still go into the Learning Records Warehouse in a standardised format that allows that sustainability and long life use of the data. So the institution is protected against uh, changes in their own institutional systems. It also allows them to plug in a variety of learning analytics tools in the data um, analytics and um, visualization layer of the architecture so that at any point they could change the system that they're using um, to do the predictive analytics or to do the visualizations or it might be that they add in new predictive analytics tools maybe looking at the use of library systems or state management rather than the prediction of learner analytics. The other benefit of the Learning Records Warehouse having standardised data and information is it allows us to do some collation and analytics of that data at the national level so we can do national benchmarking to help institutions. Okay, so the learning analytics processor is the, is the clever bit behind the predictive models if you like. Um, it uses um, a way of kind of looking at the data from the past, from historical data. It kind of looks for patterns and says, okay, so in the past, these patterns of behavior led to these outcomes. So let's look at the patterns of behavior now and let's predict what the outcomes are going to be. And the way I understand it is it's quite clever and it learns from itself. So as it's going along and saying, I predicted these outcomes, it actually follows what's happening to that particular student. And if, if it's, slightly different or the same, it kind of learns from that and the next time it predicts it's even better. In the learning um, analytics processor it says that students who are kind of going along this line end up here but students who are going along like this end up there. So if, you if you've got a student who's predicted to be there but the and their line was going like this but then it's started wavering then you can suddenly you can trigger an alert saying hang on that change in pattern means that you're actually only going to get a 
a C or, you know, or, or a, a pass, whereas you were headed for a distinction. So it's a very early warning system and it, sometimes it can pick things up much earlier than a, a tutor or a student would pick up themselves. What's important is that the information presented to each person is consistent. So a member of staff will see um, the risk status of a particular student um, and a bit more information on, on what they've actually might be affecting them in the terms of the risk and that the student will actually see that they've got a risk associated with that particular course or module. So what needs to be developed are visualizations that are appropriate to each of those members of staff and students. So the challenge is to make that data available to the individuals in a way that, that makes sense whether you're a member of staff or a student in an institution.